Hey guys, Eitan here, back with another video. And today we're talking about the built-in VPN in Windows 10. Now, the built-in VPN in Windows 10 is inadequate in terms of privacy and ease of use. It's a setup tool rather than a fully-fledged VPN service and requires the user to locate and connect to a separate VPN server. This can be challenging and using a server found through online tutorials can lead to security risks such as data breaches and malware. To ensure privacy, it's recommended to use a paid third-party VPN service from a reputable provider. It's important to note that the setup process will need to be repeated for each individual server you wish to connect to, and it may be worth the effort. Additionally, if you are already paying for a VPN service provider, it might be more worthwhile to use a dedicated VPN app for Windows. I have several options for the best VPNs for Windows 10, which I've determined through testing and reviewing. As an added bonus, some of my top picks also offer exclusive discounts. I'll make sure to include the most recent deals in the description and comments. It's also possible to get a quality free VPN for Windows 10 and 11 by utilizing free trial offers from VPN providers. For example, Surfshark and NordVPN both offer free trials through the Google Play and iOS app stores, though you will need to set them up on mobile first. These trials grant full access to the VPN capabilities for seven days with no limitations. Both providers also have numerous fast servers to choose from, and I found the speed retention to be around 80 to 90%. So overall, these options are great choices. Both VPNs have a strict no-logs policy and utilize servers that do not store data, coupled with advanced encryption like ChaCha20 and AES 256-bit, which ensures users' data is secure. Now, when choosing a VPN, it's essential to consider one's personal needs. I recommend Surfshark as a budget-friendly option with unlimited simultaneous device connections. It's good for streaming region-locked content such as BBC iPlayer, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and more. Additionally, Nord is a great option for providing extra privacy and protection. This VPN has so many useful bonus features, like the real-time threat protection, which is equal to a small antivirus. Now, if your trial period with Nord or Surfshark ends and you no longer wish to continue with a paid service, you'll probably do a quick Google search on free VPNs and find that the world of free VPNs is full of data breaches and the sale of user data. Of course, it's possible to find a free VPN that truly protects your privacy, but it's important to carefully research your options. In other words, it's crucial to ensure that the VPN has a strict no logs policy and uses secure encryption and has not been involved in any data leak scandals. One great option for a safe and free VPN would be Atlas VPN. Now, Atlas VPN may not use RAM-based servers like premium VPNs, but it does have an audited no-logs policy, which is a positive indication for user privacy. However, like most free VPNs, Atlas comes with limitations. The most frustrating of these limitations is likely the data limit of 5 gigabytes per month. One other limitation is that it offers only basic privacy protection. Also, the free Atlas VPN app for Windows has limited functionality, with only three countries available, and no support for streaming geo-blocked content. And naturally, in order to access advanced features and improve privacy protection, you'll need to upgrade to the premium version. So it's important to select a reputable VPN provider, whether it's the best free VPN for Windows or a paid service that offers a free trial. Either way, if you're interested in any of the VPNs mentioned today, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description below. Comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.